Protecting people is a complex proposition that we still need to get right. I'm Annie Hood. Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. This is the podcast that showcases why well-being culture matters for you and your business. There are calls for the CBI, that's the Confederation of British Industry, to disband following the recent rape allegations and the very toxic culture that's been described by some of the employees. Several businesses have already either resigned their membership or they've simply not renewed. One can understand that continuing support feeling untenable for many of them. But the other side of the coin is the mooted move to rename the organisation as the beginning of an effort to really gut the culture of old and put a renaissance of sorts in play. However big your business or whatever size of industry you're a part of, what this unfolding has brought into very sharp focus is the review of safeguarding, governance and whistleblowing processes. Companies may have them, but how many employees know they exist or how to access them? Transparency is key, but there is another perspective here too that can't be overlooked and it is as critical to the well-being of people as the processes discussed just a moment ago. And that is how to manage the culture of vengeance in all of this. In other words, those seeking to harm another by exploiting processes and systems that enable that harm to be delivered for them. There was a piece by the MP Stella Creasy in the Times over last weekend sharing her story of an online troll who, because he disagreed with her views on misogyny and violence against women, tried to get her children taken away from her. The social services processes then rolled into action, as you would hope and expect, and she and her family were subjected to a safeguarding review that was understandably causing great angst and pain and that had no basis other than someone disagreeing with her or resenting her political views and seeking to punish her for them. The law currently allows this. There's no retribution for anyone taking this sort of action. Now, both perspectives matter enormously because they concern the protection of vulnerable people at work from those intending to do harm, either through intimidation, lies or physically. And all of it anchors to well-being culture, work, societal leadership. Every person, male and female, need to feel protected within a fair and just system. Tomorrow, another perspective on NIMBY culture. Do follow, subscribe, and I'd love you to review. And please, be well.